What's up everybody? This is Jim from the Pain PT. Today I want to talk about the role of the autonomic nervous system in chronic pain. I spoke before in some of my other videos about the role of the brain in chronic pain. and You can check those out if you haven't seen them. But today we're going to talk about the peripheral nervous system and specifically this autonomic nervous system and how that relates to chronic pain because it has a huge effect on pain. So if we look at our nervous system we have the central nervous system, which is our brain and spinal cord, and that feeds into nerves running off the spinal cord that goes to the rest of our arms and legs and all our organs and parts of our body. And this autonomic nervous system is, is in our peripheral nervous system. It's controlled by the hypothalamus of the brain, and this system acts 24-7. It's an unconscious automatic system. It controls things like our heart rate, our breathing, our digestion, amongst a number of other things. And you can see by looking at uh, the picture here that this autonomic nervous system has two sides of a coin, basically. It has the parasympathetic nervous system on one side, and it has a sympathetic nervous system on the other side. They all go to the same organs and to the same body parts, but they have opposite effects, essentially, on the body. And so that parasympathetic nervous system that you see there in blue that's called our rest and digest system. This system turns on when we're relaxing, when we're taking it easy, and it has a sort of effect on the body. It slows our heart rate down, stimulates activity in our stomach, gets our digestion going. Um, it's sort of a healing state. Whereas the sympathetic nervous system is what's been called our fight or flight state. This system gets activated in times of danger or threat when we need to protect ourselves. You know, it dilates our pupils, it increases our heartbeat, increases our breathing rate, it stops any type of activity to the stomach and intestines and shifts that blood flow to the arms and to the legs. So it tenses our muscles, gets us ready to either flee something or fight against something. And the sympathetic system, is, you know, part of it is it releases uh, a neurotransmitter called norepinephrine or adrenaline from the adrenal glands. So that also has that stimulating effect on the body. Whereas the parasympathetic, or that rest and digest, it releases a different neurotransmitter, primarily called acetylcholine. Now, we want to talk a little more about the sympathetic nervous system because it has a role in chronic pain. And a lot of times people's sympathetic nervous system stays turned on. It stays in that stuck mode, and it never flips off to the parasympathetic. And a lot of times we're not aware of this because this is how we're living day in and day out. And when we live like this, we don't realize there's another side of the system. So when we relax and we calm down, that part of the system kicks in. But when this fight or flight system's turned on for a period of time, it creates health issues in the body. So if you look at what it does here, you can see some of the potential issues it can cause. So for example, it tenses our muscles, which is very common thing we see in chronic pain, right, are very tense muscles that don't really uh, heal and don't really um, react very well to, sh to treatments such as body work, chiropractic, acupuncture, all these things. We get short-term relief only. That's because the sympathetic nervous system is still firing 24-7. Uh, maybe some people have IBS or they have some digestive issues. Well, when this system's turned on, our digestion slows down. There's no blood flow going there, or very little. So we could easily have issues in that area. We could also have fatigue, chronic fatigue issues because of our adrenal glands producing too much adrenaline and then burning themselves out. So there's a number of conditions that are related to the sympathetic nervous system. Now we want to talk about the other side, the parasympathetic. And this is a great study because I want to bring some science here and some research evidence to show you and prove to you that there's dysregulation in the nervous system and this parasympathetic nervous system, this autonomic nervous system with chronic pain. This was a study done in the journal Pain in 2016, and it was a meta-analysis, meaning that it looks at all the research done up until then, it looked at over 17,000 studies. And what they did was they looked at what's called the heart rate variability in chronic pain conditions. In the past, they've looked at just fibromyalgia and found a, a significant effect there. But what the heart rate availability is, it's, it's the interval between 
our successive heartbeats. And it really is just a measure of our autonomic nervous system, whether we're tilted more towards our sympathetic fight or flight or more towards our rest and digest parasympathetic. So after looking at all the data here for, for chronic pain conditions, like I said, over 17,000 studies they whittled down, here's what they found. Results from the meta-analysis reflected a consistent, moderate to large effect of decreased high-frequency heart rate vari variability in chronic pain, implicating a decrease in parasympathetic activation. So what they're finding here, looking at all this data, is that the parasympathetic nervous system is not being activated, which essentially means that sympathetic state, that fight or flight state, is turned on. And it's turned on for long periods of time, which then can create, sustain, and perpetuate chronic pain. So their conclusion was that, you know, after looking at all this data, was that the obvious question that we now face is how these findings and the implicated mechanisms may inform clinical practice. So how are we going to take this evidence and put it into practice? Well, essentially, that's what we do here at the Pain PT because we're treating your brain and treating your, your peripheral nervous system, your autonomic nervous system. What we're doing is we're basing you, basically trying to get you to switch, to make this switch from the sympathetic to the parasympathetic nervous system, to move from this fight or flight system into this rest and digest and healing system. And this is what we need to do and learn to do because it's an unconscious system, because it's running 24-7, and because we're not usually aware that we're in the sympathetic state, we need to manually turn the, the light switch off. We have to practice turning the switch from sympathetic to parasympathetic. And this is what I help so many people do with chronic pain, to sort of turn the switch and to start the healing process of getting their lives back. And you'll see more information in some other videos about how we do that. But hopefully this was helpful today just to give you a brief synopsis of the autonomic nervous system and the two sides of it, the sympathetic and parasympathetic. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and I'll talk to you soon.